Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So in today's video I have a really exciting palette for us to discuss and that is the BH Cosmetics Lunar New Year 2021 edit. The year of the ox. Like look at this palette. Oh my goodness. This has such a pretty and unique color story. I just love all the reds and the greens, but it doesn't look Christmassy, you know? Like, red and green can look very Christmassy. This just looks like fun and festive. It has like neon colors, and it looks so beautiful. It does have two, four, it does have five pressed glitters, which pressed glitters can be a hit or miss with people. You either really love them or you really hate them. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. But also this is a 21 shadow palette. So five pressed glitters out of 21 shades. Not the worst thing in the world. You still have plenty of other fun and unique colors to choose from. I am really excited about this palette. I just love when companies start releasing the Lunar New Year themed products because I don't know they're just always so beautiful. I mean look at this neon lights kind of packaging and I just think it's so fun. I can't wait until it's the year of the dragon because that's when I was born. I mean how awesome is that? I was born in the year of the dragon. So I don't know. I really like the Lunar New Year. I actually did a project on it in school and so it just... I don't know, takes me back. It, it just was super interesting and super fascinating to me. I just have such an appreciation for that holiday, which is probably another reason why I'm just like so excited by all these products. I don't know, they're so beautiful. So anyways, this palette retails for $21 and you can get it on Ulta's website, you can get it on the BH Cosmetics website. I think $21 is actually a pretty fair price because you get 21 shadows for $21, a dollar a shadow, so I think that's really great. So I think this is all I have to say about the palette. I mean, it's pretty long. It doesn't have a mirror, and it's made of cardboard, so the packaging's kind of flimsy. So it's not the most travel-friendly, but I think it's a really unique palette. Like, I don't think I've really seen anything quite like this. So I'm just really drawn to this. So I don't know. Let's start playing around. I'm going to zoom you on in and we're going to do a spicy sort of look. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pretend that I didn't say that. I feel like Ariana Grande in this long pony. I mean, I'm definitely nowhere close to being any kind of similarity to Ariana Grande in looks, voice, and money. So I think I'm going to go in with this fortune shade right here. So comment down below, what year were you born in? Do you know, like, this is the year of the ox. How many ox babies do we still have? Ooh, that's really good. I like that. Um, by the way, if my eyes are a little bit red because <laughs> I was actually filming a video yesterday, I wore the Jeffree Star blood lost palette I think it's called so <laughs> my eyes are stayed a little bit red I didn't put down primer okay so right off the bat I'm noticing that I'm liking the red in this palette better than the one in Jeffree Star's palette like that one was good but it wasn't like this good this has pretty good pigmentation gotta say the first coat was a little bit patchy now on for the blending, pretty good. I used to be such a big fan of BH Cosmetics. Like the first eyeshadow palette I ever got was a BH Cosmetics palette and I loved it. It was their party girl palette. I saw a YouTuber review it and I was like, I have to have it. I bought it and I felt all special having my first makeup palette <laughs> I felt really cool I was like I have a makeup palette now <laughs> and so I really loved it so that was a palette I wore all the time it had some really cool shades I had a blue shade I had a red shade I had a pink shade I had all these colorful shades in it and yeah I wore it all the time and then I had a palette from Beach Cosmetics I don't know it was one of their like 
really big pan ones and it just faded super quickly and so I was like, eh, I'm not really impressed with this eyeshadow anymore. So I got away from it for a while. And then I just recently started getting back into it. And I'm impressed again, gotta say. So just be careful about blending it. If you blend too much, you <laughs> start to lose some of that vibrancy. So just be wary of that. Okay, so I definitely went more intense than I meant to. Next thing I'm going to do is take this plum shade, Red Panda, right here, and I'm going to put that in the outer crease. I like that it's a red purple shade. I think it will mix nicely with the red shade. I always feel like I have to have extra concentration when I do this eye because I'm left-handed so when I do right it's like feels awkward to hold the brush with the right hand so that's a thing. Shoot I actually meant to use the black shade on the outer corner. Whatever we use the purple. <laughs> um, honestly I like that purple shade. I think it blended really nicely with the red shade. So now on my lid, I am taking Mandarin. This is more of a red shade with like a blue undertone to it. Ooh, she pigmented. Honestly, this look is probably like... Okay, all the colors, honestly, that... I used are sort of looking the same. Okay. So yeah, even though that purple blended really nicely with the red, like you can't see too much of a difference. Holy sh Jesus. That's intense. That's an intense eye look. All right, now I'm going to take the black shade in the name Yin. Yin. Line. The lower lash line. Get like some different colors going on here. Really not getting much fallout from this palette, which is super good. We like that. We like almost no fallout. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna take Yang <laughs> and put that as my highlight. Huh, has almost like a gold undertone to it. Interesting. Alright, now if you don't like pressed glitters, you could totally stop there and have this be the final look. Ooh, spicy, festive. <laughs> but if you're like me and you like obnoxiously bright color and glitter and all that jazz, then you can go in with this gold glittery emperor shade and put that on your lid. You know I gotta do it. I gotta use one of the pressed glitters. Oh, so pretty. I do not hate the pressed glitter fad at all. Holy smokes. Do y'all remember when pressed glitter used to be like the worst thing ever? Okay, um, the placement of that kind of sucks, so that was on me. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, even if you don't like pressed glitter, it's come a long way. I remember when it used to be, like, straight up Vaseline, like, no glitter, and it was just, ooh, it was terrible. Now it's, like, doing the most. Hmm. Okay, um... Okay, so the thing is about this pressed glitter, once it's it's down, it's down. It's not budging anywhere. Okay, I might have made a mistake <laughs> by doing that. That was my bad. 
So there's the final look. I have to admit, it's super over the top, like very loud and in your face eye makeup. But you know what? Whoops, ran out of space on my memory card. Sorry about that. So as I was saying before, I was so really interrupted. You know what? So this look definitely is very over the top, very like costumey. But you know what? I think that's okay in this circumstance because if you're celebrating the Lunar New Year, the regular New Year, what have you, like you kind of want maybe an over top costumey glittery look. Who knows? But anyways, so my thoughts on the palette is I like it. I thought it was super fun. The colors I tried out were super pigmented. I didn't have any trouble blending them. I didn't have any trouble blending them together. There was really no patchiness, very, very minimal fallout. I think the black shadow had a little bit of fallout, but that was about it. So overall, pretty impressed, gotta say. So I definitely think that if you're interested in this palette, you know, the colors are super unique. The formula is good. It's pretty inexpensive. It's a fun makeup palette. So yeah, I recommend it. All right. So there you have it. There's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you all next time. Bye.